What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and today I'm here to talk about Warhammer 40k slash Warhammer 30k in a quick one because a few days ago we got a new reveal for a model for none other than the Emperor's Children. This is a Praetor, which I guess akin to like a captain for Warhammer 40k, and this model looks magnificent, as it should because the Emperor's Children are all about perfection, and this model almost embodies that. In my opinion, it is one of the most best looking models that I've seen recently. Just the flowing cape, the intricacies of the armor, even the beaky helmet just speaks epicness and just shouts heresy. Well, technically they're still loyalists, but once you look at this next uh, unhelmeted head, you can see the heresy taking place within. So, besides looking awesome and besides being available for pre-order pretty soon, this got me thinking that, you know, the Emperor's Children never get any love in Warhammer 40k. I mean, when's the last time we got anything related to them? Same thing goes with Slanesh. Slanesh is the forgotten chaos god that GW just does not want to touch when it comes to 40k. Which is weird, because I would understand if GW's like, oh, you know, this is supposed to be the prince slash princess of, like, sex and decadence and excess and perfection. Let's stay away from that if we're trying to, like, cater towards, like, children and, like, if moms are going to be buying their kids, you know, models, they're not going to want something with, like, three boobs and whatnot. Uh, so that's not the case when it comes to Age of Sigmar. They get Keeper of Secrets, they get new Slanesh models left and right, but unfortunately nothing happens when it comes to Warhammer 40k. I made a whole video on that and if I can find it I'll link it here or down in the description or at the end of the video so you guys can check it out. But yeah, Slanesh always gets, you know, left over. We get supplements for the world eaters, we get supplements for the death guard, supplements for the thousand suns, new demon princes, uh, we freaking get, like, we get demon primarchs, Angron, demon primarch Mortarian, and demon primarch Magnus, and we don't even get a single supplement for the emperor's children. That's not right, but, uh, it's a short video today, I just wanted to showcase this awesome model in case you guys did not see it, awesome potential for kit bash, Hopefully this is just a small taste of what's to come when it comes to the Emperor's Children and Slanash in 40k. But again, this is geared towards the Horus Heresy, which if you look on their Forge World page, they have a slew of awesome models such as Lord Commander Eidolon, a really great model. Same thing with uh, Fulgrim, awesome model. Um, but that's, that, that's enough for today. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching guys, as always subscribe hit that like button share comment down below and if you want to go that extra mile you can support us with super thanks as always it's the sound alchemist part of one mind syndicate and i'll catch you in the next one peace